Hi everyone and welcome to DisparityPair.com. In this video we'll show you how to use one of the most simple yet effective tools for solving electric problems on your car. This tool is a circuit tester also known as a test light. Everybody should have one and you'll see why. So stay tuned. DisparityPair.com be sure to visit us at our website despairrepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. The name of the tool pretty much says it all but nevertheless will tell the basic definition. The circuit tester is a tool that enables you to make a very simple diagnostic of a problem on your car's electric installation. It consists of a probe with a light bulb inside of it on one side and a metal clamp on the other. They are connected with a cable. There are differences in the kind of probes, cables and clamps used but the basic principle is the same. The probe may be more like a screwdriver or a pick, the cable may be shorter or longer, the clamp may be bigger or smaller. Also the one we're showing is for a 12 volt installation but the basic principle is the same for a 24 volt tester which can be used on a bigger pickup trucks and trucks. The most common principle of testing any electric installation is checking several reference points if there's electric current or not. The circuit tester does exactly this. By connecting it to the electric installation in some way and letting current through it, it gives you insight on what and where the problem may be. When there's electrical current, the light bulb flashes up, when there isn't, there is no light. So this simple tool turns electric current into a clear visual signal that helps you determine the problem. Using an electric tester is very simple, just have in mind that you can test two kinds of connections with it. You can test a plus 12 volt connection and a minus or ground connection. The principle is the same, only the connection is different. For checking a plus 12 volt connection, connect the metal clamp to a bare metal surface that has a good connection to the car minus ground connection. It can be a screw, piece of bare metal or else. If you're checking around the engine bay, this is easy, just find a bare screw, nut, washer or else. The best situation is when the clamp can reach the minus battery terminal. If you're doing this inside the passenger cabin, like when checking the fuses for instance, avoid insulated metal parts that may have rubber, plastic or else on them. You can use the probe in two basic ways, as a tester and just touch the bare connection or use it to penetrate the wire insulation. When penetrating the insulation, be careful not to cut or damage the cable or cause an accidental short circuit. Just hold the cable and slightly puncture the insulation. If you've done it properly, nothing but a small, barely visible dot will be left on the cable. Now for checking a ground connection. Do exactly everything the same, just swap the connections. Connect the clamp to a positive 12 volt input and use the probe to check the ground connection. What's important to know on this part is if the cable you're testing is showing a good ground connection, the light bulb will shine brightly. But if it's weak, the light bulb will be dim or barely visible. This means there is an existing but weak ground connection. So to simplify a bit, connect the clamp to one side and poke with the probe on the other side. When the bulb lights up, you have current, when it doesn't, you don't. This is why it's so simple, yet very effective. Always make sure that it works before you start. This is very important in order to avoid making a bad diagnostic and thus a bad repair. Do this especially if you have an older tester that you don't use much. So connect it to the battery before you start and see that the light bulb works. Sometimes the bulb will burn out or there may be a weak contact somewhere. If so, this may result in a bad diagnostic of the problem making you think something else is wrong when in fact the circuit tester may be faulty. Make sure the clamp has a good connection. 
Always firmly connect the clamp to a clean connection, especially if you're connecting it to the minus ground connection. Lots of mistakes and wrong diagnostics were made when the clamp was connected to parts that aren't properly grounded. If needed, even use an extension cable to get a proper connection. Avoid making short circuits with the probe. The tip of the probe isn't insulated. When checking connections, for instance the light bulb holders, you may accidentally cause a short circuit. Although most installations are protected by fuses, it's best to avoid it. As mentioned, if you're going to use the probe to poke the cable, be careful not to damage it. An alternative to a circuit tester is of course a multimeter. It's an equally effective solution and with much more options, but more expensive and complicated to use. We've shown this in a separate video about how to check alternator voltage output, where you can see one way to use a multimeter. Circuit testers are easy to find and buy, every hardware and car parts store surely has them for sale. If you have the chance, buy more quality ones with a better cable and probe. The one in this example is several decades old, but still works although it's a bit beaten up. Also, it's easy to maintain, every part can be easily replaced, the bulb, cable, clamp, even probe, for an insignificant amount of money. There is also the option of buying more modern circuit testers with LED lights inside. Whatever kind you choose, buy one and have one around the car, it may easily get you out of a tight spot and repay itself in no time. So that's it for this time, hope the video helps, please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.